the final countdown teacher. That is so true. So today is the last class, but not the least. So let's see how it goes. Okay, everybody, welcome to the final class of this module, of course, because you are going to continue the next module, hopefully. I was checking, and now everybody finished the platform. Nice. That is amazing. So definitely everybody is going to be on the next module, right? So that is also very, very good. And, uh, well, today also we're going to uh, listen to you and your presentations and see how it goes, and we're going to practice in general. That is the class of today. It's going to be the practice. It's going to be like uh, a share best practices and things like that. So let's see how it goes. And uh, I want to ask you, did you buy anything on Black Friday? Nothing at all? Yes, teacher. Um, Sunday, yesterday, I bought a green jacket. Really nice. That is very good. Very good. Uh, very, very crowded. Yeah, I was watching some video of people running to go into the metro center and all, and all the mall side. It was crazy. Okay. Fr Friday, teacher, Friday, um, I I returned uh, from Guatemala, but teacher, a lot of traffic. Yeah, it was in, crazy. In that is true. Yeah, I was I was thinking about that because I was coming to Santa Ana also from San Salvador, and it was, I mean, people went out on the street trying to get something. I don't know. It was crazy. Today actually is Cyber Monday, right? So it's about yeah, it's about gadgets, technology, and things like that one. I don't know if you knew that one. So that today is Cyber Monday. Yes, teacher. In interesting. The last the last weekend for the Black Friday, but um, for me, I, I know about so much uh, because um, I don't, I don't know if the the company or the store uh, decrease the, the product's price. I don't know. Yeah, I believe that depends. Maybe in the most of the cases, it's not a big discount, right? Just a little bit. Um, and maybe in some places, some devices, some things, probably, yes, probably you're going to have a discount, but it's not a big deal. Um, because, for example, I was checking with some of my colleagues at work. Uh, they were saying that they're in MD. If you are one of the first 50 people, I guess, or 10 people, I don't know, they give you anything that you may want to buy at a 50% discount. So that is a very good deal, right? So uh, anything, I mean, any 
pair of shoes, any bag, any belt, any jacket, whatever. Uh, also, probably in, in some places I, I was checking, uh, there was a store that you, I mean, it was a store where you buy a, a, a shirt in $100. So the first 10 people, they can get anything in $10. So, but it's only 10 people, right? So people get crazy, but the deal is just for 10 people. So maybe marketing is like that one, right? Marketing is like... No, the, 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 the advertising teacher is very good. Yeah. It's like hamburgers, right? You see on the pictures, the hamburgers that are delicious. And when they give you the hamburger, it's like, what? Okay, I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry, but this is not what I saw on the picture, right? <laughs> yes, teacher. Good. So speaking about Cyber Monday, we're going to watch a video about some gadgets. So let's see how it goes and you give me your opinion on that one. Oh, but before that one, we're going to check the attendance, okay? Um, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Here, teacher, here. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present, teacher. Okay. Eh, Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. O sea, Figuero Asisneros. Present. Good. Ah, no, dijo o sea. Yeah, o sea. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay. That, no, es his que voice. Después del otro Oscar. Ajá, después del otro Oscar. Yeah. Me toca. Actually, I was going to say your name right now. It's Oscar René Molina Calidonio. <laughs> Present. Good, good. Yeah, I say uh, o sea, maybe he's the cop or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Janira Gómez. Present teacher, I'm here. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Mendez. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Okay, so now, yes, we're going to watch the video, and so you let me know what... Uh, your opinion about this guy. So let's see how it goes. DJI mic, wireless microphone system. Content creators of all experience levels can raise the production values of their videos, interviews, and streaming with the DJI mic, an easy-to-use that offers vivid audio quality. The system records clear and reliable audio at up to 820 via two miniature clip-on omnidirectional mix, which double as backup recorders for worry-free wireless. With fast pairing, the transmitters and the receiver automatically charge and pair as soon as you place them in the charging case. Simply complete the initial setup, and you can be ready to record quality audio in seconds. For a truly wireless experience, conveniently attach a transmitter to whatever you're wearing via the integrated back clip, or by using the clip magnets, without having to wire yourself or your talent. Rolkers A new version of an older invention, the Rolkers were created by a French startup of the same name. They take the form of roller skate-like devices that get strapped onto the user's existing shoes. Instead of simply having wheels on the bottom, however, they have motorized rollers covered in conveyor belt-like rubber tracks. Because the rollers bend in the middle to facilitate normal walking, each one has two tracks, one in the front and one in the back. Onboard sensors and other electronics detect the wearer's current walking speed and respond by activating the motors in order to double that speed. 
up to a limit of 7 miles per hour, 11 kilometers slash f. This means that they only roll as the user is walking. If the user is just standing still, the rollers won't carry them forward. Woody Mini Kedial KD100 Powerful Customization A set of 18 buttons and one dial can be assigned individually or in mutable combination to your favorite shortcuts of keyboards or mouse to achieve different operations, such as zooming in and out, adjusting brush size. The dial also can display radial menu of tools to do things faster and easily. With all of the shortcuts at your fingertips, the creative process will be more productive and enjoyable. Upgraded V15 Driver Huiden Driver has upgraded to V15, which optimizes the user interface and allows you to set up different shortcuts regarding to the requirement of different softwares. KD100 is predefined with a set of common shortcuts by default, so you can enjoy your creative journey with it right out of the box without installing Driver. The Aero Smart Charging System the first connected charging to solution in the world. Connect to the free AROE app, available on iOS, Android, macOS, Windows, and soon Wear OS and watchOS, to extend the lifespan of your devices with optimized charging. Get notified when your devices are fully charged or need charging. New features and functionality are automatically pushed to your device with over-the-air OTA, firmware upgrades, and regular software updates. The AROE Smart Charging System is the first portable battery charger that can safely charge all your devices, phones, tablets, accessories, and all major laptop brands, while other portable laptop chargers require manual voltage inputs. Ours is the first with automatic voltage matching to safely charge your laptop at the exact required voltage for peace of mind. Lua Smart Planter Introducing LUA Smart Planter with Feelings, a plant, Yup, your plants have feelings too, just like you. Their leaves and blooms gives great indication of their mood, allowing you to grasp their full personality and attitude. And now, thanks to modern technology, your plant can communicate its needs and tell you what they feel. Using sensors, the smart planter triggers 15 different universal animated emotions. A great but money-saving pet indeed. But how? By simply measuring the soil's moisture, sun exposure, and room temperature, it formulates facial reactions on the pot to let you know it's hungry, cheerful, or tired. Just install the free mobile app, choose which plant type you have, set your own preferred thresholds and make it read the generated QR code, and you're connected. Ring Clock Ring Clock can improve your sense of time too. How about trying to predict the time before you rotate the ring? It sounds silly but we bet that you will play along with us at some point. It is also very green with no wasted energy because in real time, when you want, it shows the time. Our next dream is that rotation kinetic energy will give the power to the LED lights, meaning that the next version of Ring Clock can be entirely green. Mangata Orbit Power Bank The Mangata Orbit Dual Power Bank charging station is easy to use at home or the office. Use the USB cable provided to connect the power station to a wall socket. Enjoyed cable clutter-free desk space. Get through your busy day without fearing your personal devices will die. Just charge up your power banks in the neatly designed wireless charging station, then grab one as you leave home or the office and just go. Hate that frantic rush to find a wall socket in time? With the Mangata Orbit, you'll never have to deal with it again with a spare power bank. Each power bank has a 5000 mAh capacity, enough battery power to recharge and recharging multiple electronic devices at once can cause tabletop bedlam. But the streamlined designed wireless charging dock station sits neatly out of the way, so you can avoid the mess that multiple cables, like those from your smartphone and iPhone charger, can create. Orient Display Ever since the release of the Nintendo Switch, more than 80 million gamers globally have made on-the-go gaming a huge part of their daily ritual. Unfortunately, many of these gamers also believe this handheld gaming experience is a bit underwhelming because of the minuscule size of the current Nintendo Switch screen. The Orion 11.6-in gaming monitor from Upswitch was created for gamers craving a larger and more immersive gaming experience without giving up portability. By increasing your actual gaming screen size by 188% and upgrading your audio experience with the integrated stereo speakers, your Nintendo Switch combined with Orion will deliver the gaming experience that every gamer deserves. Never run out of battery while you game again.
While your Nintendo Switch is docked in the back of the Orion, it will continue to charge even while playing when your Orion is plugged in with its USB-C based charging. That's right, you can extend the battery life of your Nintendo Switch while Orion gets powered via the portable battery connection. Orion truly is the ideal Nintendo Switch companion. Bigger screen, amazing speakers, better ergo grips, and designed to hold almost any brand of USB-C battery pack. It's time to play your favorite Nintendo Switch games without compromise. Fifth, Atom Unihertz Rugged Smartphone Atom is a small, compact smartphone that is only 2.45 inches in length, making it even smaller than your hand. It can surely be put in your coin pocket or handbag, sparing up more space. Running Android OS, Atom is compatible with most apps you can find in the Google Play Store. Despite its tiny size, Atom has almost all the functions you need for daily life, including fingerprint unlock, NFC, 64G storage, etc. With the IP68 rating and Corning Gorilla Glass, Atom is water-resistant, dust-proof, and shock-resistant, making it a perfect phone for both outdoor adventures and daily life. Mall but complete, Atom secures your privacy by offering fingerprint unlock. An unlock time shorter than the blink of an eye doesn't affect your mobile phone experience at all. Thanks to its small size, Atom is more power efficient and can work for a long time with the 2000 mAh rechargeable battery. Atom's support for Compass, GPS, and IP68 certification guarantees more reliable positioning. It is made for people with an adventurous spirit who need more reliable devices for off-road and trekking experiences. Miser Multifunctional Measuring Tool Be more efficient with the time you spend measuring when you use the MEAZOR 3D 6-in-1 Multifunctional Measuring Tool. Super compact in its design, this gadget offers 3D floor planning technology, so you can simplify the process of capturing measurements and laying out a floor plan. Moreover, it boosts your measuring functionality and makes the whole process so much easier. Achieve accurate measurements and get help with measuring whether you're a professional or dyer. Plan out spaces with ease and use 3D displacement mode to move freely in any space as it auto-stitches every edge of the room. Furthermore, the 3D tilt mode makes it easy to capture every aspect of a room, including furniture and other obstacles. Produce 2D results and increase accuracy by 72% compared to your old measuring tape. Turbojet Brewing System You've always wanted your coffee maker to resemble a military jet engine you just didn't realize it until you saw the Aviator Velos Turbojet 100 coffee maker. Constructed using aviation-grade aluminum alloy, stainless steel, and aluminum bronze, it's a single-serving, high-pressure brewing system. Despite its intimidating design, it's incredibly easy to brew your morning coffee. And since it's limited to only 100 units, it's as much of a collector's item as it is an avenue for your next caffeine fix. Super Velos calls their Aviator Velos a high-pressure brewing system for tea leaves or coffee grinds. The body of the Aviator Velos is a quarter-scale replica of a real jet engine, with insides fashioned to percolate your favorite ground coffee or loose tea leaves. VOLTA Spark Charging Cable Welcome VOLTA Spark, your last stop to solve all your charging needs. Declutter your life and save yourself hundreds of dollars every year buying new but weak charging cables. Volta Spark is a truly universal magnetic charging cable that would last you for a lifetime. Built with premium military grade materials and improved physical features, Viola TA Spark can withstand the tugs and snaps that destroy other cables. With an 18 gold plated copper core plug, 24 AGUG copper wires, and embedded Viola TA Smart chips, you will enjoy blazing charging speed across multiple devices. The two rare Earth N52. Great neodymium magnets have a 360-degree orientation to provide a stable and powerful connection. The magnetic connection between the cable and the tip attached to your phone acts as a trip and snag safety feature. Celpic P1 The world's smallest handheld printer, the Celpic P1 allows anyone to print anywhere, anytime thanks to its affordable and ultra-lightweight design. The well-rounded portable printer uses ancient technology, but operates like a pen allowing users to print photos, barcodes, QR codes, or just plain text on almost any porous surface. Not limited to just paper, Celpic P1 uses new ancient printing systems that are extremely impressive in their versatility. 
It supports printing at any angle, including horizontal and vertical orientation, and can switch the printing direction from left to right or right to left. Equipped with a built-in line break function, the portable printer has the ability to print either a single line or across multiple lines, having an almost limitless number of printable lines equipped with speech recognition technology, the Celpic P1 uses the microphone in smartphones to turn your spoken words into text. The intuitive and user-friendly interface allows users to customize any design on the dedicated app and create unique prints. To use it, users have to simply connect to a wireless network, add their custom design and slide the printer into almost any surface. Textiles, leather, wood, paper, and even on curved or uneven surfaces. Chakram the Electric Height Adjustable Desk The Chakram Height Adjustable Standing Desk is a customizable workstation for professionals, students and gamers alike to incorporate into their space when seeking out a way to enjoy a more comfortable everyday experience. The desk maintains an expansive design to easily hold all essential computer equipment and more in place when working or gaming. The unit can be adjusted in terms of height by simply utilizing the dial control that maintains a wireless design to easily make changes on the fly. The Chakram Height Adjustable Standing Desk is also paired with a pop-up power station that will provide access to essential charging ports alongside AC outlets, and even a wireless charging pad for powering up a compatible smartphone model. Incorporate smart technologies and eco-friendly materials into the manufacturing process to create sustainable and customizable furniture. Integrate more features such as built-in storage compartments, RGB lighting, and ergonomic designs into gaming accessories to enhance user experience. XTL VR Headset The XTAL 3 Professional Headset it's a wireless variant thanks to a streaming module that shifts some of the weight to the belt. The VR headset Hextall 3 offers high-end features for the highest demands. Customers are mainly in the industrial and military sectors. Since April 2022, the headset from Virgineers has been available for $8,900, VR version, or $11,500, mixed reality version with high-quality 4K cameras. With the Gunsar version, fighter pilots can see real instrument panels and the real hands in addition to virtually simulated elements. One remaining annoyance is the cable to a high-end PC. At CES 2023, Virgineers announced the wireless Stahl wireless headset, which has only one cable from the headset to a belt-worn module. It works with low-latency streaming according to the Wi-Fi 6E standard, which transmits in the 6 GHz band. Okay, do you have any opinion on the devices that we just checked? Yes, teacher, the future is now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, five products uh, of five gadgets uh, feel, uh, watch, I feel very good. For example, the brokers, the very, very creative uh, article, uh, the the smart the smart pot the smart pot very very creative innovation teacher the ring clock the ring clock good idea very good idea the connector for for the the connector for the for the switch very good teacher in the charging cable uh, very good very good uh, product or gadget teacher Okay, very good. So interesting, right? Uh, maybe not that crazy, but very real, very realistic. Something that you can get right now. Nice. Uh, any other comment or opinion on the gadgets that you saw? Which one is more interesting for you? 
and uh, another country's teacher preferred uh, using the the news technologies. For example, in China, the people use uh, many, many, many technology for um, using the, uh, ¿cómo se dice día a día? Day of day, no? Every day. Yeah, every day every or day. day, yeah, day to day, yeah. Day to day. <clears throat> I know uh, uh, I want ch China Chinese and the the cloth no important the car no important the the bed and the, the bed no important the important is the cell phone the full uh, gamma and computer full and and primordial primordial cost is the technology yeah so i believe in the future we're going to have a lot of gadgets so i found some of these very interesting and uh, i believe that i mean a lot of people are trying to get the best gadgets on that. so Good. Any other opinion on the the, on... Other, the, the other gadget uh, that uh, I I I feel very good uh, is the intelligent intelligent table. Yeah, for, very good. For the church, different different product, cell phone, computer, the different different technologies. Yeah. Very good. I mean, uh, all the gadgets, they have something for you, right? Maybe some of those are no big deal, like the cell phone that is very small. I believe that is no big deal. I really love uh, the printer, you know, the one that is like a pen. Oh, uh, yeah, teacher. Very good. Yeah, I mean, it, it has uh, speech to text. I mean, you say something and they can create that one and print it, right? So very, very good. I did tell you. And with many colors, with many, I mean, and you can print pictures, codes in the, in the very moment. I mean, and you can print on the shirts or clothes, right? Uh, that was very, very good. I really love that one. And also the one that you say, the plant spot. Oh, I really love that. So you can see the right. feeling of the plants so, and you understand what, what you can do, right? So when the, plant, so when the plants need water, this. The this uh, it's very sad. Exactly. So yeah, it's a very good idea. So you uh, take better care of the of the plants, right? Sometimes uh, we want to, uh, but we don't know what to do, right? So and the very good thing is that it recognizes what plant is the one that you have, so you can really take care of those. Very good. Very good. Yeah, I don't know what is going to come in the future, but I believe it's going to be a very good experience, right? It's going to, uh, I believe that we live in a very nice moment because uh, we have seen uh, everything, right? The internet, emails, cell phones, and now we're watching a lot of things. So it's, it's very interesting. Teacher, the, 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 the key question is when this product is will be buy it. I believe that some of those are possible to get them in Amazon. Right? For example, the printer, I believe that is possible. Okay. Uh, and I believe that the, the plant spot as well. I don't know if all of them, but I, I know that some of them, you can buy them already. Uh, some of those are very expensive, like the VR, uh, that uh, is with augmented reality and things like that one. Um, I mean, that is $11,000, so probably I won't buy that one, right? So that's too much money. But some of the other, maybe, I mean, the printer, if that is $50, I guess, I, I can buy it. Right? So if I really want to I buy it. it. Very good. So, yeah, uh, before we move on to the next part, we're going to start uh, with the... Uh, with the uh, 
salvi from his support. So today is the, the last class and we really need to go into that one. Okay, so first thing that we're going to do is to watch the video on how to fit it. I know that you know, but this is the regular procedure, okay? So let's see how it goes. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. Vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor, vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos. Y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocarlo. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio de igual manera las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. 
vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a sin enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, por favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Okay, so that is what we need to do. So, let's do it then. On the first one, ah, this is a very nice question. Um, it's going to be La Orden de English. I don't know if you received that in an email. If you have that in a WhatsApp uh, message, what you need to do is to copy that one into a Word or Notepad or anything like that, so you are able to copy only what you need. Anyways, I have here the last, the one for us is going to be this one. And let me just do this. And I'm going to send it to the chat here. Okay, so you have that. If you want to copy and paste, and then you can come here and paste. So that will be it. Vamos a ir haciendo todo junto. Ya se los pasé ahí en el chat de, uh, de Zoom por si lo quieren copiar y pegar. Y vamos a ir juntos, entonces. La número uno, ¿alguien falta de hacer la número uno? Que es la que ya les mandé por ahí. Ok. La so, encuesta, este teacher, la que nos han enviado el WhatsApp también, desde ahí lo abrimos. Ella, lo puede abrir desde ahí. Le da clic y lo va a poder abrir. Igual también yo se los puedo pasar de aquí. So, no hay problema. It's going to be this one. Oh. Se lo voy a pasar acá en el chat, just in case. Yeah. Okay. Gracias. Good. So, let's go back to the... This is the one. Uh, do you... Uh, everybody finish the number one? ¿Alguien falta de la número uno? Okay, number two, very easy. Nombre completo como aparece en el doble. So, let's enter number two. Okay, alguien falta de la número dos? En la uno. Ah, entonces le esperamos, no hay problema. Ahí en el chat puse eh, para que lo copie y lo pegue, para que sea exacto la orden de inicio. Ok, en el chat está. Sí, aquí en el chat está. También está en el, en el WhatsApp que le mandaron. Solo que si lo tiene en WhatsApp no lo va a poder copiar porque copia todo el mensaje. Pero puede copiar todo el mensaje, pegarlo en un Word o pegarlo en una Note. Y ahí va a poder copiar, copiar, eh, sombrar y copiar solo lo que necesita. Y también está aquí en el chat de, de Zoom. Ok, ¿cómo vamos? Terminamos ya la número uno y la número dos. Si no, esperamos. No hay problema. Voy, voy, ok, la esperamos. No vuelves. En el chat envió también el, el cuadro de la información. Eh, ¿Cuál cuadro de la información? De toda la información que hay que copiar y pegar. Ahorita solo vamos con el, el solo le mandé la orden de inicio, que es la de la número uno. Ah, perfecto, 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 está bien. Y mandé el link de la encuesta, solamente okay. esa Ok, no sé si ya va en el número dos o todavía no. Uh, Puede seguir, mi teacher, yo, yo continúo aquí. No, no, le esperamos, no se preocupe. Si tiene dudas o tiene problemas, me avisa y le ayudamos.
No puedo copiar. ¿De dónde lo estás tratando de copiar? Del chat. Del chat de Zoom. Sí. Si ahí solo lo sombrea o le puede dar doble clic a toda la línea y lo va a poder agarrar o lo sombrea. Sí. Teacher. Yes. Me ayuda con, con mi, 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 mi. Ahí donde dice empresa, donde trabaja, me ayuda si es mi razón social o es el nombre de la empresa. Claro que sí, permítame. Es Sandra, ¿verdad? Okay, no. Yes. Ahorita le digo cuál es Sandra. Es my name, ¿no? Eh, sí, Pero... Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. That will be okay. It. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Eh, no sé cómo va, eh, Verónica. Puedo copiarlo. Sí, creo que sí, lo copié. Dicho. Okay. Entonces, en el número dos sería su nombre completo y vamos okay. a ir avanzando. El número tres, correo electrónico. El correo electrónico que usted tiene inscrito, lo ponemos. Correcto. No lo puedo ver. El link lo puede abrir también en la computadora si se le hace más fácil. El luego del correo electrónico vamos a poner el número de celular que también está fácil. Lo puede poner corrido o con espacios. ¿Qué sabe mejor corrido? Ok, number five. Aquí solo hay que escoger femenino o masculino. Whatever you want. Ok, en el número 6 es, es, es un pull down menu que tenemos que coger el departamento de, donde usted vive, no de trabajo. Igual en el número 7, municipio de residencia, simplemente es el digital. And that's it. Ahora en el número 8, como estaba viendo ahí, Sander tiene que ser exactamente su razón social que no es lo mismo a veces que el nombre comercial de la empresa. Si usted tiene pregunta de cuál es el nombre o la razón social de su empresa, me dice y yo se la digo con mucho gusto. De, de visión mundial, teacher. Eh, en el número 7, ¿qué que le vea? La, por favor, sí. Of course, ahorita, no, siete. A ver. La, la número 8, empresa donde trabaja. Ah, sí, número 8. A ver. Ernesto uh, visión dice visión misión internacional ¿cómo? cómo? visión misión internacional visión misión internacional al revés visión V primero M después perfecto ok Mauricio Rivera ahorita lo revisó usted A ver. el suyo dice Digitex El Salvador SADCB. ¿Alguien más? Me teacher for Pi. What is Jonathan. it? Jonathan. Para Jonathan dice proyección y administración empresarial de El Salvador. Limitada de capital variable. 
así como se lo dije. Proyección y Administración Empresarial de El Salvador Limitada de Capital Variable. Eh, qué raro, o sea, esto dice que no puede abrir el enlace, dice que es un link que se puede abrir en cualquier parte, no tiene ninguna restricción. Eh, lo está intentando abrir donde el celular, en la computadora, porque nunca hemos tenido restricción para abrirlo. Sí, ahí sí no le podría decir, fíjese, porque no. Nunca hemos tenido, o sea, es un link que cualquier persona puede abrir, solo que se llena con información adecuada. Ajá, está mal. ¿Y será que con, está logueado con algún otro correo o está una computadora de la empresa? A veces la computadora de la empresa tiene restricción para entrar a ciertas cosas. Puede ser algo por el estilo. Porque si no, es un link, como le digo, abierto. Yo lo he abierto en muchas partes. Y no... si no trate de hacerlo en su celular ahí sí como le puso la compañera Flor ahí en su en el chat y ahí está también el link creo que se le copió la pantalla intenté abrir ese link también el, en, el, en el grupo de Whatsapp está el link pero si no puede nos avisa ¿alguien más necesita la razón social de su empresa? Ok, vamos a continuar. Ok, number nine. Ahorita les muestro. Ok, el proveedor, esto es muy importante. Vamos a buscar, como decía en el video, inglés corporativo Regal International SLC. Eso en el pull down. Mira, bye. Nombre. Ah, ok, nombre del curso. Ese también está acá. Sería este. Inglés intermedio, módulo 4. Entonces, se lo voy a poner también en el chat acá, por si lo quieren copiar y pegar. Okay, thank you, teacher. Ok, y simplemente lo llevamos y lo pegamos acá. Ok, y acá es donde vamos a poner lo que sería la valoración. Entonces, hay tres preguntas, simplemente de poner lo que usted piensa de esas tres preguntas. Ahora, en el número 12, la fecha de inicio, que también está en el mensaje, 23 de octubre, por supuesto, por este año. Entonces, acá le damos en el calendario, lo vamos a subir a octubre y vamos a poner 23 que fue un lunes ¿Verdad? no importa si al principio está el número 10 eh, no importa eso es el formato de la computadora y luego la fecha en la que finalizó que está fácil porque es ahora ahí le va a salir de una vez le damos clic en that is it ah. 20, 23 de octubre iniciamos teacher exacto Ok, sería entonces 23 de octubre y 27, que es este día. Ok, y luego el 14, recordemos que esta es la satisfacción en general del curso, de la metodología, no tiene nada que ver con el libro, ni con el horario, ni nada, estilo de Insafor, sería solo de la metodología de enseñanza. Entonces lo ponemos y seguimos al número, el 15 y el 16 son opciones, son opcionales. Usted puede poner cualquier curso en el 15 que usted quisiera, o algún comentario extra que quisiera agregar en el PSC, que lo puede dejar también en blanco y no pasa nada. Y le damos enviar cuando ya esté todo listo. Y cuando le den enviar, le va a salir la opción que dice que eh, gracias por, por llenar la encuesta y esa hay que enviarlo. El screenshot o fotos si de la computadora. Ya le voy a decir de quiénes ya recibí. Quisiera saber con Oseas, no sé cómo va, si pudo abrirlo o no pudo abrir.
Y les voy a ir diciendo aquí de quienes yo ya recibí el curso. El screenshot. Si no digo su nombre es porque no lo he recibido. Tengo el de... Ah, perfecto. Gracias, José. Si tiene pregunta en alguna pregunta, valga la redundancia. Eh, tengo ya el de Ana Verónica Hernández. El de René Morina. El de Blanca. El de Ramiro. El de... Este creo que es el de Roberto Carlos. Ah, no, este es de Sandra, perdón. Sandra. Tengo el de Ernesto, el de Juan. Y nada más. Los demás todavía no los tengo. Entonces, vamos a enviarlo. Me acaba de llegar el de Verónica Burgos. Good. <laughs> Great. Ok, no he recibido nada más. Espero a los demás. Ah, Silvia Patricia, me acaba de. El nombre del curso, teacher. El nombre del curso, ahí se lo puse en el chat, Inglés Intermedio Módulo 4. Aquí en el chat está el Zoom. Ok. Ok. Ok, me faltan todavía algunos. Vamos a leer nuevamente los nombres de quienes ya tengo. Tengo el de Ana Verónica Hernández, el de René Morina, el de Blanca Ramiro, Sandra, Ernesto, Juan, Verónica Burgos y Silvia Patricia. Y de nadie más. La fecha de inicio fue el 27 de octubre, Ticha. Es correcto, 27 de octubre y ahora la fecha de finalización. Sí, reci... Perfecto, recibí al de Mónica Ábalos. Sobre el 23 que el inicio, eh, eh, Ticha. Eh, déjeme ver, permítame, o sea, vamos a revisar, no voy a hacer. Sí, 23 de octubre, 27 y 23, 27 es ahora y 23 de octubre es... Okay. Teacher, I sent my form, but I, I am not in the list. ¿En cuál lista, perdón? That you read. Mm, no lo he recibido. Déjeme revisar no. otra vez. Mm -hmm. ah, ahorita le digo. Tengo el de Ana Verónica, el de René Molina, Blanca Ramiro, eh, Sandra. Ernesto, Juan, Verónica Burgos, Silvia Patricia, Mónica, María Julia. Y el suyo, usted le envió al grupo de WhatsApp que tenemos. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Hacia ah, sí, ese tiene que ser. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Ahí me envía el screenshot, sí. Ahora sí me cayó yo. Ok, thank you. Creo que ya no me faltan mucho. Déjame ver. Alfredo me dijo que estaba trabajando. Creo que me falta el de Silvia. No sé si la mencioné. Me imagino que ya lo va a enviar Oseas. Uh, 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 uh. 
Bueno, de los que estamos creo que solamente. Ahí recién dice. Ok, very good. Espero que los que faltan lo puedan enviar a Zoom Sponsor. Si tiene preguntas, me avisa. Porque hay que llenarlo exactamente. Es bien delicado porque un dato no es el correcto y hay que volverlo a hacer y a veces no se puede repetir la encuesta. Y si no se llena la encuesta, no se puede pasar al siguiente modo. So, it's a big deal, my friends. All right. By now, we're going to continue with the class and do have the homework for tonight. I want to listen to you. So, it's supposed that you are going to do a presentation about whatever you want to present, anything. We are, are going to listen to you. So, I want to ask you, who wants to be the first one? Me, teacher. Good, Ernesto. Let's go ahead with you. Okay, teacher, teacher, can I show my presentation? Uh, definitely you can. Okay, teacher. Okay, um, my presentation, uh, can you see the, yes. the presentation? Okay. Yes. My presentation, teacher, is about my last uh, recent trip to Chiquimula, Guatemala. Okay. Um, Good, good evening, teacher, and everyone. Um, today, in the last English class of the Intermediate Fort, I am going to talk about my recent trip to Chiquimula, Guatemala, or travel to Chiquimula, Guatemala. Um, let me let me know you. It was an incredible experience uh, because I could meet another uh, partner or colleagues. From the from the other countries, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and my team, El Salvador. Um, my trip objective uh, was built uh, an a strategy for the dry corridor in Central America, in a specific four points: and regreening, um, food security, and. Uh, disaster management risk, and the water and sanitization. Um, in, this, in this photo, uh, you, can, you can see the Esquipula city in the center of the photo. Uh, you can see the, the Esquipula church. Um, oh. the, this, this slide, um, I want to show you where is a, where is a locate um, the space where the team of the four four countries um, stayed uh, in Guatemala, Chiquimula. This is a, a hostel. This hostel uh, named El Tule. Uh, El Tule. Um, is um, a space. Its location is located around from the kilometers, 176 kilometers, road to Ipala, Finca El Tule, Chiquimula, Guatemala. And this hostel is owner from the World Vision Guatemala. And El Tule has 32 cabins with their comfortable bed, natural fresh air. As a consequence, doesn't not need air conditioning. It has a large swimming pool. Uh, if you can see the photo, yeah. um, the food was very, very incredible and delicious. But uh, in the next slide, explain a lot of the different typical food of the from the Guatemala. Um, I stayed uh, here in El Tule since Tuesday to Friday. In the morning, uh, I paid more or less $142 per, per, per person. And for me, it's very good price. Uh, this place has 37 kilometers of territory and also has two warehouses 
uh, for donations in the other product that uh, World Vision Guatemala need to keep um, in good, in very, very good conditions. As a consequence, World Vision Guatemala has a very good space for your team and people in general, for the family, for the young people, uh, if you can practice hiring in the other sport, but El Tule is a good um, a good point or a good space. Uh, in the same line, World Vision Guatemala, with this investment, has a very well, well profit. Um, the next slide, uh, if, you can, if you can see a uh, different photo are, uh, around or, or about different typical food I ate in Guatemala. For example, uh, I didn't know that pepian. Pepian is a stew made with species roasted chilies and the traditional cucumber of chicken uh, and chicken and beef. It also contains vegetables such as potatoes, green beans, and carrot, among other. Um, this dish is usually accompanied by white rice, tamales, or tortillas. But in my case, um, I ate uh, this food, pepian, with white rice and tortillas. Uh, with vegetable, but uh, I I didn't I didn't I didn't eat tamales, uh, but um, uh, the tortillas in Guatemala are very very thinner, uh, but very very delicious. Um, the tortillas is make it uh, the typical with typical uh, comal. Um, in the other, the other very, very delicious food or traditional or typical food in Guatemala, uh, it is very, very common to see good, good tossed tortillas. They are an extraordinary complement to meals. They are well accompanied by traditional ingredients such as uh, black beans. The black beans is very, very common in Guatemala, uh, very, very delicious and guacamole and chicken pasta. So it was very, very delicious for everyone. And is in the in the last photo for the breakfast is very, very common and very, very similar to the uh, typical breakfast in El Salvador, the scrambled eggs, uh, fried uh, beans, um, fresh cheese and platanos with, with cream. Very, very uh, typical breakfast and um, a lot of coffee. The coffee, the Guatemala coffee is very, very good. Uh, in the last one is uh, my team uh, from Guatemala, Nicaragua, El Salvador and me for this training. Um, the coffee is very, very good, but also that in Guatemala was very, very incredible is the sweetie bread. The sweetie bread, uh, uh, under the coffee and ate and eat very, very good, very, very good experience. In the last photo is um, when the training is finished and all the team visited uh, the Esquipula church in a specific, I want to, I want to, I want to see the black rice, the black rice is a, a, a good traditional uh, in, in Esquipulas, Guatemala. But this is my, my experience in Chiquimula, Guatemala, teacher and partner. And thank you for advice, teacher, and all the class teacher. Uh, thank you, everyone. Very nice, very good. Yeah, it seems that it was a very good experience. and. Uh, very nice to see you there with your team. Very good. Thank you for sharing it. Yeah, it seems that you got a very nice experience there. Great. So who wants to be the next one?
Ah, Rene. Okay, very good. Let's listen to Oscar Rene. Okay, I slide and so there on this slide. Okay. You look look my pic pictures. Yes, yes. Okay. I talk about the, the origin of internal international logistic background. The logistic goes back to the behind of human times where people friendly frequently and the trouble to the place where the products uh, they wanted. To the consumer was located, which sometimes forced forced them to go to the place, and they stay there to live on or those who 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 cool. See about it. Who cool? Who who cool? Carrier, carrier. Best products into. Took, took them the, to the place where they live in, live it, but only in small quarantines. Since the war, so the food was perishable, perishable, its concept was not considered at, at that time, but Individuals or families were already using logistic logistic in their daily lives in this way they stored stored food and the cows signs there was only of abundance of food the certain times in the of the years with the purpose of having food during to during the cold and low winter. The logistic had its origins in the military world. The team they team back to the seventeenth century. BC at the time in Greece. In the military fields, fields there was the logistic mainly in charge of determining the warranties of supplies that would be needed to advance according to the plans. Therefore, this logistic lo, logistician in the first instance was just a calculator del letter. In the second century after Christ, approximately in Roman times, the logistica emergent was mission was the provide the necessary supplies to the drops. Logistic concept. International logistic is an area area of international trade that consists of the deliver, delivery in the products at the place. Time quarant quarantly, quantity cost and quality and quality agreed upon with the client, which is why is this part of the supply chain. Supply chain, it is an interactive work method to manage 
or wool or fools or fools in the different distribution channels, supplier, client, and final consumers. This is the presentation for the origin of the logistic. Very good, interesting, very nice. Yes, imagine how <laughs> old is this one and how important it is, right? So even in the ancient times before Christ, I mean, this existed already. So it's because it was some of the most important things, right? Yes, it's a history. Yeah. Like a historical thing and very necessary, right? So, the siglo cuatro antes de Cristo. Wow. Imagine. So, that is more than 2,000 years. Sí, that yo is... creía que había empezado ahí por la, por la era del comercio, de la revolución francesa, por ahí. Pero no. Me no, gustó it's... el tema por, por, por eso, porque no, no lo sabía. Very good. It was very, very interesting. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Good. Great. Okay. Uh, the question is, who wants to be the next one? Me, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Juan Roberto. Okay, can I share my screen? Definitely. Okay. Okay, good evening. Everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about the uh, 10 basic first aid tips uh, applies in cases such as traffic, work, and home accidents. And uh, number one is keep calm. Number two, call emergency medical services. And uh, number three, ask, ask for or check the victim to find out what part of the body has been damaged. And uh, number four, Avoid moving him if he's unconscious, unconscious. Only if necessary, place it in a safe place and in, and in a comfortable position. And number five, give him the necessary care. Number six, keep him warm. And number seven, do not abandon him until you have handed him to medical services. Number eight, do not give him any drink or food. That's very important. And number nine, do not allow people unrelated to what has, was ha has happened to intervene. And number 10, do not do anything you do not, you do know, not know about because it can cause more damage. And don't forget to have the, a first aid kit. kit. Thank you. Very good, perfect. So. It's very, very interesting. Uh, and uh, sometimes, I mean, when there is an emergency, we don't know what to do, right? So it's very important to to be careful, right? To be calm. Yeah. Uh, definitely, it's a very good tips, and thank you for sharing. Good. Who wants to be the next one? I was checking that. There is a, a bat inside my house right now. <laughs> so I'm going to be, become a vampire for the next class. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't know what I'm going to do after the class, but I have to take him out. <laughs> All right. So if there is no volunteers, let's listen to uh, Sandra Gomez. Are you there? Maybe not. Blanca, what about you? I, I am not finished the homework. Okay. Uh, let's check then with Monica Avalos. What about you? Not here by now. Uh, Jonathan. Mm. 
not here. Uh, Maria Julia. Not here. Mauricio Ruela. I feel like when the teacher is speaking, nobody looks at the teacher, so <laughs> they don't want to participate. All right. Um, let's see. Veronica Burgos. Here, uh, I'm not finish my phone. I I'm only have to put a, a one picture if a few minutes, okay? Of yes. course, of course. Alfredo says that it's working. What about Oseas? Not possible. Aida Lopez? Ah, okay, Oseas, go ahead. Okay. So I, I just want to talk, teacher. Good, that's great. Okay. Let me one second. Okay, I'm going to talk about uh, the production process because that is what I do every day okay. of course um, so what is the production process uh, the production process definition refers to the steps followed to convert an input into an output it involves utilizing and combining economic resources like learning capital and processing them to provide products and services for consumers it is uh, simply defined as changing inputs into outputs. So uh, the objectives of the production process include mirroring market demands and, and substituting products. They are explained as follows. Uh, mirroring market demand, one of the production processor process aims into meet the demands of all the consumers in a market for a specific good the local or international consumers rely on the production process to keep the goods they demand in a steady supply. Uh, sub substituting products, goods and services produced by a business have uh, to be substituted over time as they get depleted and others expire while others uh, do not perform better in the market. Substitution has to has to maintain a steady supply and improve the quality of goods and services offered. Um, type of production process. The five main types of production are mass production, uh, batch production, job production, and just in time just in time production and flexible manufacturing system. The method of production in the type stated differ and can be analyzed using factors like the manufacturing cost, the capital invested, and job security. Mass production has a higher production cost and job production require a higher capital investment. Do the regular production, job production, and mass production have higher job security? The type of production processes will be discussed as follows. Uh, mass production, the mass production processes constitutes uh, assembly line autom automation technology to provide goods in bulk. Uh, the main features of mass production include division of labor as each production process require different match matching a smooth flow production with product flow clearly defined standardization to achieve high quality and high startup costs due to the due to the many resources required before operations. And pros and, and cons. Pros, flow production. Uh, flow production is due to the large volumes of products being manufactured in lesser time. For example, phone companies have different machines to, as to assembly the phone parts faster than human beings could. Lower cost. Um, few workers are needed in the production process and waste 
is reduced due to the high precision of automated machines. For example, a human being is prone to mistakes, but a machine receives specific instructions and it's not prone to er errors. Cons, lack of employing opportunities. Production utilizes automatic machine machinery to carry out the production process. For example, a machine is used to finish packaging products, which people could have done. Uh, pollution, waste, wastes from huge companies are released into the environment. For example, a fertilizer processing company pollutes water when re releasing chemicals into water resources, including streams and rivers. That's it, teacher. Very good, very interesting. The production is one of the most interesting things and how it has involved in history, right? Because in the past it was totally different. Now everything is much faster. There are lots of uh, many other things related to production. Thank you for sharing. And uh, who was missing? Blanca, are you ready, Blanca? Teacher, eh, es, eh, es cualquier tema, no es solamente de... de... No, whatever you want. Power. Anything. Eh, whatever. Eh. Okay. Okay. I am prepared the presentation. Uh, relation my my uh, country. Okay. Okay. I am preparing my, my city in Nahuizalco. Good. Um, Nahuizalco is, is, is the, the people that still reserve, preserve their roots in countries like ours are very few. Uh, Wipiles are the skirts that indigenous women were in the days of people glory. There are few people who preserve people traditions along with Nahuatl, the indigenous language of our people ancestors. Today can see these people walking the street of Nahuizalco, proud to be bearers of hundreds of years of the of Salvadorian history. Nahuizalco is a town in Sonsonate whose origin possibly dates back to a people or Jackie past. Their name or of Nahuiti or Nahuatl origin means the poor penitents or the four Isalcos. Um, Also, the the rain or photography topography of Nahuizalco is very hilly. Is that fertile land is very important for the production of corn, beans, and rice. In this way, Nahuizalco helps the Salvadoran economy by providing the crops that will will help sustain the basic basket of many Salvadorian families. Thank you. Okay, very good. Interesting. So yes, I I remember I went there a long time ago and uh, probably it's a very good idea to go back there. So uh, yes, it's going to be uh, uh, it's interesting to, to know about the I'm nervous about it, but that is over there. <laughs> so uh, it's interesting to to uh, 
know about our, our culture, right? To know about where we come from and what are our so probably wants to bite me. <laughs> I will be Batman. All right. And now we're gonna listen to Veronica Elizabeth. I don't know if they use no. Uh I wanna share the picture and okay. 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 Um, can you see a picture, teacher? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this night, I was talking about the friendship. Why about the friendship? Because I have a group, uh, a group of, of women with who, with, with who I, uh, I feel, I feel very very fine because we can share the very and beautiful moments and i i found this uh this woman in uh akadansa kinesis school of dance but for this moment now we're knowing that academy but we looking for the best moment for share everything. We, the women are the different age. Uh, the last, how, oh, mayor, how many letters? Mayor, the mayor have to uh, 56, uh, years in the minus have 24 years and some parts are in middle but when we when we meet we forget uh, the province we talk about the province every province in the when i when i we stay together we have how uh, have fun moments we have to support each other in a, if it, we have a problem, it's belong to everyone to inclusive. There is, the inclusive is not better. If for us, it's the better psychological therapy than meetings and talking, have fun, singing, dancing, play games together and we get travels in inclusive another country. The picture, we are the complete group. We are uh, tens, tens women and two babies that are, and I have to say, my two uh, daughters is in the group too. I can, uh, I can share with them in this group. Uh, the last weekend, we stay in Apaneca and chair. We went to the uh, Cascada San Juan. And for the next year, we have uh, the next travel to Las Tunas, La Unión. Uh, when we found the Frenchie, the beginning was difficult because and sometimes the women uh, are difficult with everyone, with every problem, with every life. But with me, well, we don't do, we don't see uh, the woman if, if she is, she is angry, if she is fat, uh, fat skinny. No, we don't feel the physical, we don't feel the 
her heart. And we meet in, in we have three years ago to meeting every month with them. I think if we have, I find out uh, the woman in meetings ensure the good moments, uh, it's very beautiful because the friendship is grow, grow, grow. And if his song is sick, we go to when we want to visit and we want to prepare something for the for for her. And if is if if he, somebody is, has a problem, we we need him to looking for for help. I'm very happy with them. Okay, mm -hmm. and for me the friendship is the maximum to to me, and I think today too. Okay. Very good, and it's a very nice experience, the one that you have. Sometimes it's very difficult to keep the friendship uh, because everybody gets married, have family, uh, and sometimes it's difficult, but it's very good that you continue growing that one and you have uh, the meetings that you have. So it's a very interesting thing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> very good. All right. Is it that anybody else is missing? I don't think so, right? Let me check. Ah, Roberto Carlos, I don't know if you did the homework. If you want to present something. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, the rest of the class, I guess you did. Okay, very good. So we have a, a few minutes yet. So let's talk about... Holidays, holidays are coming, right? So what do you usually do for Christmas? I want to know your, your traditions. Uh, no problem, Roberto Carlos. The tradition in my family teacher is eight tamales in the 24th of December. Tamales are amazing. So are those from Turkey or hen or... Turkey, chickens, but this is a special tamales. Okay, why? Because because it's very large. Uh, really? Yes. <laughs> and how many tamales do you eat for Christmas? Uh, teacher, um, with, I'm very, very hungry. I eat mm, two or three tamales. In mind, that is a lot. <laughs> I always, always in the in hours 24th of December, I eat tamales with bread. If the bread is very large too. Oh, imagine. <laughs> and what do you drink with the tamales? Chocolate or coffee or? It's it's very very common. Uh, drink coffee. Mm, okay. Tamales, coffee. tamales and coffee is a, a good couple. Yeah, yeah, I'm hungry already, so yeah. And I, I'm just thinking about some tamales that my aunt, she sometimes does. So I'm thinking that I'm going to ask her to give me some tamales this year. So <laughs> good, very good, very nice tradition. Uh, anybody else wants to share? What do you do for Christmas? Me to share, um, okay. wait. Because our two days to celebration, okay, twenty first okay. in, in thirty one. Mm -hmm. uh, for twenty twenty four, we cook uh, I don't know if you say bread, bread with chicken, okay. uh, bread with chicken with let lettuce, lettuce, tomato. Um, how do you call those hojitas, chiquita? I remember berro. Berro, ah yes. Otro no puede faltar. Okay, and for the last day of the year. We cook um turkey, turkey with 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 uh meat meat and, and some groceries in, inside and fruit too. <laughs> Veronica, the 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 bread and bread with chicken, the key is the sauce. Ah, uh, yes, 
if you don't have sauce, it's not Brazil chicken. It's not yeah. there. It is. <laughs> Navideña. Navideña. <laughs> Nadie, yes. The Christmas sauce. Con relajo, con relajo la salsa. Eh. Con relajo. Con relajo. Yeah. Yeah, you are right. Food is. I have to say relajo in English, teacher. Ah, well, that one for food, I don't know. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of pieces. Relajation. Relajation. <laughs> No, I don't know exactly that. That is very, very Latin thing. So we don't know. We don't have a word for that one in, 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 in English. I have to say relajo. You can say spices. Spices in general. Spice. A lot of spices. Mm -hmm. spices, spices. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you're right. Food is very important for those days, right? And when you have, I believe that it's very nice because you have your, your uh, tradition that comes from your mom and your dad, but also it's the same tradition that your son and your daughters, all the people are going to have in the future, right? So it's a very good thing. Perfect, thank you. Who, want, uh, uh, who wants to share more traditions for Christmas? What else do you do? Do you dance? I remember that in my family, a long time ago, we used to dance. There was a huge party. Now, not anymore, because there are many kids and things like that. But in the past, the parties, they were legendary. Uh, everybody wore that party. So do you dance for Christmas or uh, yes, New Year's? Yes, yes, it's the dance. It's a, it's a party. It's a big party. In it's an opportunity for dance. So I will be there for Christmas and dance. <laughs> and uh, what time do you usually finish the party? A teacher, uh -huh. the other things that is very, very common in my family is drink um, brompope. Uh, oh, that is very nice. I really like that one. That is a very good thing. Sometimes, sometimes I drink wine. I don't remember Johnny Walker, but the <laughs> other drink. Yeah, similar it's drinks. It's not that when we take one bottle. <laughs> <laughs> the second bottle, he doesn't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't remember what he did, but he was happy. <laughs> the, the, the happy so moment. Yeah, I believe that this is one of the most important holidays, maybe the most important, right? Because all the family is together and you do whatever you want and you eat a lot and you laugh and you say stories and things like that. One. So very, very good thing. And uh, I was asking you, uh, Veronica, uh, what time do you usually finish the party uh, in Christmas? 3 a.m.? Yeah, the, yes, I say. I might. That is very a, good, a very good party. And how many people are there in the party? I mean, it's 20 people, 30 people? Uh, 12. 12. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens as well, right? So you are there with the family, and sometimes the neighbors come and say, hello, how are you, and things like that. And in then the they go and... Uh -huh. 12, in the halls on 12, okay. That's very important. Yeah, it's very, very important. So, very nice. The cuetes. I don't know what, what I had to say, the cuetes. Uh, that is firecrackers. Firecrackers. Fire yeah, so there are two words. Fireworks are in the sky, the lights. The, the, those are fireworks. And the ones uh, that we do in Christmas, those are firecrackers. Fire yes, I like it. I like it. I, I like to volcancitos. Ah, those are very nice, yeah. And did you ever, when you were a kid and you were burning firecrackers, did you ever burn your hand? Um, yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> I believe everybody burned that. <laughs> yes. That is something very common. I don't, I don't have any in my mind in my hand because uh, I was very quickly to take. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
that's the way it is, right? So that is a very nice tradition. Okay, what other things uh, do you do for Christmas in New Year? Anybody wants to share? Uh huh. What else do you do? Okay, I'm going to ask then. Juan, what do you do for Christmas and New Year's Eve? Well, uh, I like it to to eat a lot of food, uh, <laughs> chicken, uh, cake, and uh, drinks, uh, a lot of things. <laughs> and what is your favorite food for that? Hmm. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Panes con pollo, pollo, pollo guisado. Creo que... uh, that is uh, stuffed chicken or uh, bread with chicken. No, teacher. Yeah. Miguelenos bread. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yeah. So, nice. And what else do you do for that day? Mm, well, uh, usually we visit our family and in, in, here in Candelaria de la Frontera and in San Salvador. San Salvador. Okay, interesting. How many people get together? Mm, well, in home, uh, just, just uh, three or four um, because we we visit uh, 26, 27, or December 26, 27, yeah, and the mm. others. All right, very good. That is interesting. And do you uh, do you burn firecrackers? Mm, yeah, lately no. <laughs> when I was young, yes, a lot of, of, of firecrackers, fireworks, and and more. <laughs> okay, yeah. very good. Perfect. Thank you for sharing, Juan. Okay, thank you. Uh, what about? Let's see, Oscar Rene. What do you do? for Christmas days in New Year's Eve. Uh, maybe not here. Okay, and a question for everybody. Do you believe that those holidays are the same or are better now or were better before? What do you think? I don't know, teacher, but in my in my opinion, um, the holiday in the in the final of the year, thirty one uh, December, for me is is most is more popular in El Salvador. That is true. In Latin America, I believe is very very popular. Yes. For for example, teacher, in my family, um the the final of the year uh, i ate turkey turkey the good the good dinner very good dinner turkey with rice rice the special rice um bread um i don't i don't know what do you mean postre dessert Dessert, a lot of dessert, a lot of drinks, uh, soft drinks, and hot drinks. Yes, teacher, in my family, we celebrate uh, very, very much uh, the last of the year. That is true. That is true. Maybe uh, I believe that Christmas is very uh, important, but also the New Year's Eve is one of the most important, right? So that is, I mean, is the representation of a renovation, a new opportunity to do things and expectations on what is going to happen. Yes, but, but teacher, uh, December 24 uh, is, a, is a, a, Christian, a Christian celebration too. 
that is true. Okay. All right, very good. Anybody else wants to share? Uh, are the holidays at the end of the year are better now or were better before in the past? What do you think? I believe everybody is making the wish list for Christmas because they're not here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sometimes happens. I mean, I know that we are at the end of the year and sometimes you need to work more, right? Sometimes, depending on what you do, uh, it's difficult. I mean, but it's, um, well, it's a need that we have, right? Teacher, I have a, I have a question. Yep. When, when, uh... When you start the next level in this in this in these classes? That is a very good question. To be honest with you, um, we don't have a date, specific date. Um, it's very common that in SAFORP they don't work the last two uh, weeks of December. So probably it's going to be in January. And I believe, let me check the calendar. Let me see. So we can calculate on that one. So this is the last week of November. I don't think we're gonna start or you are going to start on the next Monday, that is the fourth, uh, probably maybe the 11th, but then if you start the 11th, uh, December 11th, probably you are going to have only one week of class and then you need to rest. I don't believe that is going to happen because sometimes there are, uh, Insafor has, the program for all the uh, quarter, so how many courses they are going to start. So in my opinion, you are going to start, let's see, maybe not the first week of January because that is the uh, the first week that INSAFOR comes. So probably the papers are going to be ready by the 8th or 9th of January. In my opinion, probably it's going to be around December 15th. I'm sorry, January 15. January 15, okay, teacher. Okay. Yeah, that is... Then we have, we, will we have vacation thing? I believe you are going to have vacation, yes. So and I believe. And uh -huh. on December 11, but uh, you, we have only one one week of class. Yeah, I remember the ones that happened. I, I mean, I had the experience on both, on both sides. Once I started a group, and I work only one week in December and then continue in January. And the other year, also, I remember that we didn't start in December. We started in January. So uh, either or is going to be one of those. And uh, the best that you can do is to uh, get all the papers, check that human resources doing everything. And also, also, this is very important. I know that you are going to have vacations and you are going to cook for holidays and many things, but it's very important that you continue practicing. Okay? 10, 15 minutes a day. You don't have to be practicing one hour, or two hours. If you have the chance, it's better, right? But uh, only if you only practice 10, 15 minutes a day, you are going to continue learning. Uh, it's very important. You know that English, anything that you are learning, uh, the most important is to practice. If you practice and practice and practice, you are going to get there. And there are many things that you can do. I mean, you can watch videos, you can sing songs, you can translate in your mind, and uh, you can read. Read is very good. Uh, you can dictate. I mean, I was telling you, I guess I told you before that uh, in Google, in the documents of Google, you can click where it says dictation and uh, you can set that in English and you are able to speak and they are going to be able to write the words. So that is a very good uh, way for you to practice and check your pronunciation. So, huh? No, teacher, you have, you have, a, uh, you have a reason because I think that uh, 
<clears throat> after after the class, um, I will I will the the daily routine, um, and the watch, listen, and write in English. Think in English. Definitely, that is very important. Actually, that is another thing. A lot of people sometimes ask me, you know, in the one ones or many classes, uh, what can I do to improve? my English. And yes, you can practice in many ways, but the best that you can do is to think in English. If you start thinking in English, then it's going to be a moment when you are going to speak normally in English. But it's not that easy. I mean, it, the difficult part is that since we, we here in El Salvador, we speak Spanish, right? We don't practice. So what you need to do is in the morning, when you wake up, start thinking in English. It's like, I'm going to drink coffee. I'm going to cook pancakes. Everything in English. And yes, sometimes you are going to stop because you don't know one word or two words. That is a good chance for you to go and look in the dictionary. Look what is that word in English. And then tomorrow you are going to know the word. And little by little, day by day, you are going to improve improve your English. So that is the best that you can do. Start thinking only in English. When you're thinking only in English and you will see that you you will be very, very good in English. Teacher, uh, I don't know if it's a true, but some teachers told me if you have a dream in English, okay, you are learning English. I don't know. <laughs> Through. Well, I believe that that depends. In my opinion, I mean, I, I have spoken English for, let me think, uh, maybe 20 years. And I had never had a dream in English. I don't know. I don't remember a dream in English. Um, I, I believe that depends on many situations, right? So, uh, but yeah, little by little, practice every day. That is very, very important. Also remember that if you want to be fluent, you get Johnny Walker and you are going to speak very fluent in English, right? So that is, <laughs> and you, yeah. You, you know what, teacher? I'm going, uh, now I'm, I'm drinking cognac. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, she's Lord, drinking. Lord. 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 <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> that is a good one. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. The battery is running. <laughs> running out of battery. All right. So, uh, yes, it's very important that again to practice. Remember that when you finish all the classes uh, here in, in, in Sephorp, uh, you are going to do the TOEFL. That is a test. And I mean, it's not very difficult, but it's not easy. So you need to start preparing for that one because uh, the listenings and the grammar questions are going to be there. So practice as much as you can. That is my best advice, okay? All right, my friends, uh, let's check the attendance and then we are going to finish. So, Aida Isabel López Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Good. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present and thank you for, for the class teacher and your advice. Thank you. Ah, thank you. It's a pleasure. Uh, Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Present. Good. Jose Alfredo Hueso Lopez. Present, teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Present. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. 
Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present teacher, and thanks for Good. all. Okay. I oh, it's a question. Much in this mode. Thank you for that word. So for me, it was a pleasure to be with you all these nights. I hope you continue learning. I hope you had a very nice holidays, Christmas, New Year. I hope I can see you in the future. And uh, I have dream in English and see you later, alligator. Okay, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You, thank you, partner. Visit El Tule. I will, of course. <laughs> Glad to meet you, partners. Nice. <laughs> meet you too. We'll see you Bye. next Good year. Sure. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Christmas and happy new year. Thank so do you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. That's a okay. good one. Don't drink too much, and if you drink, don't drive. Johnny Walker drink very, very much, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Waiting for Johnny Walker. Yeah. 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 Because it, because you drink. In dry, uh, uh, you can call me, okay? I love you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. She hey, knows her. <laughs> Dele la tarjeta de una vez. Yeah. Ah, que le llame. <laughs> ya se la vamos a dar la tarjeta. <laughs> of course, sí. they're in the group. <laughs> yes. Nada que todos vamos a estar allá celebrando. <laughs> of course, very happy there. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye, See, bye. You. Thank you, See you. Good night. Good night. See you. See you. See you, everyone. Thank you, See you around. Good evening. Hey, hey good evening for all. Hey, good evening for all. Eh, fíjense que no sé cuándo las mandaron, no sé si ya las mandaron, para serle muy honesto. Pero hay que estar pendiente y con recursos humanos. Sí, ok, muchas gracias. Yo voy a comprar. Pendiente con recursos humanos. Hey, sorry, good evening for all. Eh, take care. Eh. Of course, thank you for joining. Waiting for Johnny Walker. Of uh, course. And the Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> okay, take care, is... teacher. Hey, uh, nice to learn with you. Hey. Of course. Nessus. For me also. Okay. Have a nice. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello, Mauricio. Hello.